Hey what's up, Rusman here. Today I'm gonna show you how I made the lead for my latest track Heroic. I'm gonna show you how I made all the melodies, the chords, the effects. So basically how I did the whole thing in that part of the track. So let's get to it. So this is the project, at least a little bit of stripped down project because I, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how the, the leads work. So I'm just gonna play through it one more time so you can get a feel for it, how it sounds. So yeah, that's the whole the whole thing all together. And it sounds, in my opinion, pretty decent. <laughs> um, I think it's best when we start with the main sound that everybody is uh, talking to me about. It's like the main lead is this one. So as you can see in the, um, in the melody here, the most important thing of this whole sound is the, the little pitch bends because they make it like go towards the, the next note to give like a, a, a portamento effect. And then you have at the end of all the long notes, you have a, um, it's a more LFO effect. I made this in silent one, by the way. And that's the effect that goes on here with LFOs. It makes it go like upwards and downwards, so to say. So if I would take that out, so that would be just like a distorted synth. So even when I would take the distortion out, not much left then. So it's basically, it's, it's just like a saw wave, a sine wave, which which makes um, the a little bit of fluctuation in the in the how do you say it in the in the synth with some different alterations, and then it's basically just a distortion which gives us that that edge is in the overdrive, and then put up the gain of the cutoff LFO. So that's basically the main reason why this synth sounds like it does. And I put it here on uh, a mono legato, so you only can play like one, one, um, one voice. But if you would only do that, and you would go without all the effects that I put on it, it would still be pretty dull. So what I did at first, I, I took a bit of the highs and the lows out of it. So it's like that, and then. For some reason I added high again, I don't know why, but but then the big the the big one is like the reverb. So I just send it to um, uh, ascent and then put like an EQ on first to take off the lows and the highs, then a reverb, and I sidechain it to the top lead. And then afterwards, I would sign it to the side to the sidechain channel for when a kick would come in, and then I would take the mids uh, away and I boosted the, the the sides on the high frequencies. So it the reverb is more like on the side and not like where the lead is playing. So that's how we get the. So that's mainly how I did that lead. And then we go back to the, the chords underneath it. It's really, actually really simple. It's just... It's, it's really not even a good chord progression in my opinion, but I, I got it in the very first beginning of the track and I just kept it. And if you take all the effects out, it's still doesn't even do much 
just some low cutting high boosting compression to the side chain some reverb and what did I do here ah just again take some mids away in the mids and then add some sides to the high frequency and it's just like yeah basic super saw just nothing really special but when you combine the two they really like uh, are in harmony together and that's what makes the the sound really really wide to go with that i added some bass lines it's not really that big of a deal the bass and just to give it some punch in the low end the first one is a plug bass Yeah, it's, it's also again a silent and also just took away some of the lows. Second one is a more grittier plug by for the wide uh, angles of the of the bass line. Again, took away some of the lows and then I have like a break bass, which is longer, more like a sub bass actually. Yeah, what did I do there? I did some low cutting again, some OTT, which is a great plugin from Xfer. And then uh, took away the high frequencies from the with the filter. Again, a Pro Q took some of the highs and the lows, and then a and a Pro L for the for the limiting of the bass. But when you combine all of those, you get a pretty decent. Uh, pretty decent uh how do you say it hole now that's the wrong word but pretty decent sound so to say yeah what i added then is what just some little stuff like really cheesy edm stadium things just to give it more of an edge and then here i did a hit and then intro is just a reverse lead just put the lead um the last note of the first note of the lead melody Put a hell of a lot of reverb on it, uh, recorded it and reversed it with again like a, uh, like a, um, a filter. And actually this one I did accidentally, but then, then I found that it kind of fits. Without it would be really clean and I didn't want to have it that clean at that point. So yeah, that's basically how I did the the main lead of the leads and the chords and everything of the of my track Heroic. So thank you for watching and uh, we'll be back next week where I explain the, the drop of Heroic. So take care. Bye bye.